Trash. Hello everyone! This video has actually been on my list for a long time because it's very trendy for influencers and YouTubers these days to come out with food products. Food is just something that everybody loves. I mean, obviously not everybody loves every kind of food, but you get the point because everybody consumes food. And there's also trend food products. For example, drinking products. I have a lot of drinking products to test in this video. Let's just jump right into our first influencer food product, which is is Chamberlain coffee by Emma Chamberlain. Chamberlain? Do you know where Emma Chamberlain is from? Berlin. <laughs> I think Chamberlain coffee has been around for quite a long time now. I think maybe like two or three years. And I do have to say, I really enjoy the whole design. I think the shop was kind of cute. It was very easy to order because they ship internationally. It seems to be quite a big brand nowadays. I have never tried her coffee but I've heard good stuff about it and also I've seen some interesting products because she kind of makes these steeped packs it is like a tea bag but a coffee bag and you put it into your hot water and then you make your coffee that way and I've never done this before and it sounds very interesting I also have to mention that it's like 10 p.m. right now not a very perfect time to drink coffee this is what it looks like two of each blend where's my other brown one did Vincent drink one of these did you drink one of my Chamberlain coffees, deep bags? Du hast den das nicht genommen oder hast irgendwie mal mich gefragt, ob du was davon trinken kannst? Es fehlt irgendwie was. Sass. I think Vincent did it. I don't know, this is weird. Why does this keep happening to me? Where is it? Let me just pick one with not a lot of caffeine. How about the careless cat blend? It's because I have cats. You're little lily. <laughs> You're literally supposed to just dip it into hot water for like 15 to 30 seconds. How is this not gonna taste super watery? Ooh, it smells aromatic. This is a very small cup. Maybe I should have gotten a spoon. And then leave the bag in cup or until preferred taste. I think I need some milk. I don't have any milk. I have no idea about coffee. Why am I reviewing coffee? Mmm. <laughs> Let me put the bag back. <laughs> it just tastes like water and just a little bit of a coffee aroma. I guess this is just a very quick way of getting your caffeine inside of your body. Okay, guys, I'm gonna make the best possible coffee out of this. I'm gonna add some milk and some sugar. Okay, I added a little bit of oat milk. No sugar. Oh, <laughs> nee. oh it's so fucking watery. It kind of tastes like concrete. If you would lick a brick, maybe I'll enjoy with some gingerbread. I have these filled little gingerbread hearts. I'm having a little coffee break, just like the grown ups do. Mm. But as I'm really not the coffee expert to judge a coffee, I think we should also let a coffee expert judge this whole situation. Even though he claims he's not a coffee expert, but he drinks coffee every day and I don't. So let's let Vincent have a try tomorrow morning because I'm sure he doesn't want a coffee right now. <laughs> We're gonna make Wildcat Instant. And this is apparently just powder and you mix it with either hot water or cold water. This is cold water and this is hot water. This is for Vincent and this is for me. Let's hope it has more taste than the steep bags. Okay, cheers. That's your bad smile. Yeah, it's water. Water? Mm -hmm. Even more watery than filtered coffee. <gasps> It kind of also tastes like an espresso, so maybe you use too much water. No, I was supposed to use 250 ounces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> At least she's got great taste in interior design. I feel like the warm one is still a little better. I mean, this is supposed to be creamy, buddy, dark chocolate, sweet caramel. Notes of it. But I'm not getting the notes, are you? No. 
<laughs> we're gonna stay with the drinks and next we're gonna try Prime by KSI and Logan Paul. They obviously also have a lot of different flavors and I couldn't even really tell you what it is. It says hydration drink, flavor ice pop. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function. With bold thirst quenching flavors to help you refresh, replenish and refuel, Prime is the perfect boost for every day and diva. So it's like a healthy drink. What's in there? Why is my voice gone? <clears throat> Filtered water. Oh, nice. Coconut water. Potassium, phosphorus, turmeric, and some natural flavor. So, corals, and lows, and it's a galoni, pointy, feline, vagina. There's a lot of stuff in there. So, it's like a fitness drink. So, should I drink this to gain gains? Let's just drink it, motherfuckers. It was also kind of hard to get this in Germany. Everything in this video was hard to get from all the international YouTubers, except Chamberlain Coffee. Oh my god, I can't open this. I think I bought this on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so close. What color? It is so sweet. I know this flavor. I think it actually tastes a little bit like Powerade, like these types of drinks. I always drank them as a child. And scent. Try this and tell me what you think this tastes like. Say it loud and proud. Mmm, Powerade? Yeah! <laughs> is it sugar free? It tastes like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is sugar free. Do you want to drink it up? No. Oh, it tastes better if you drink a lot of it at once. How expensive is this? $30? Oh, 12 pack costs $30. <laughs> That was such a scare, jump scare. It basically just tastes like sweetener. I feel like you can really taste sweetener. That's why I also don't like Coke Zero because it just, to me, it just tastes too much like sweetener and I just don't like the taste of it. So I guess it's also my pet peeve. Maybe other people might like it. I mean, Vincent didn't think it was that bad. Not for me, guys. Next, we're gonna try something from Mr. Beast. He launched chocolate. Mr. Beast bar, to be exact. Period. <laughs> it was so hard to get this. Mr. Mr. Beast's stuff, you cannot get it in Germany. Like, nothing of his stuff. Wow! She is so thin! And she feels melted. I think it got shipped from the US or the UK in summer when it was still very hot and I immediately put it into the fridge, but I think it's still melted because there's nothing up here and it's very thick down here. Quinoa crunch chocolate. Only five ingredients, they say. Oh, they have Mr. Beast cookies now? Mm -hmm. Hello, what's machen Sie denn das? So it's a bit loud. Oh, <gasps> it looks like caramel. <laughs> oh. Ah, maybe it's supposed to look like this. It has a hole. Can you fix file? It's not bad. <laughs> I don't get the quinoa. It's not bad. Never judge a book by its cover. Oh, this is expired. It expired yesterday. Oh, it expired yesterday next year. So we are still good. It's a good chocolate. Really not bad. Petition to get Mr. Beast food in Germany. This was by far the best thing I've tried so far. Next, we're gonna try something that you can definitely maybe compare a little bit to this chocolate. We're gonna try the brand Naturally Pam by Pamela Reif. Pamela Reif? Pamela Reif. She is a German fitness influencer and I think she is actually very known internationally. She has her own brand, Naturally Pam. I think it literally is just a brand that is supposed to be healthy, fitness kind of vibes. I've also heard some rumors that it's not as healthy as it portrays to be. I think it was about the ingredients, like there was some type of sugar in there that was meant to be more healthy but actually it wasn't. For example, the protein bar. A lot of customers actually were not satisfied with the ingredients, claiming it's not healthy, too many calories and too many fat. <laughs> basically no protein in there. I think it's missing the point a little bit if you claim to have a healthy food brand and then it just turns out not to be as healthy as you claim it to be. I think that could be a bit problematic. But indeed, I do not have a products right now because I didn't arrive yet, so future Naomi is gonna have to take that part. So over to you, future Naomi. Thank you so much, past Naomi. What a pleasure to be here. I ordered a couple of products and I know past Naomi just tried Mr. Beast's chocolate, so why not try hers? By the way, 
the chocolate products say. This one's like chocolate pieces, chocolate chips. It says it's without cane sugar. That's like their USP maybe. On the back it says it's coconut sugar instead of cane sugar. And I think that's what the problem is because coconut sugar is not more healthy than cane sugar. I mean, that's what the experts say. I have no idea about sugar. I mean, it's dark chocolate. It can only be good. It's good. <laughs> Are these chocolate chips the exact same? Oh, we have the clean protein bar. And I think this one was the one that got really bad feedback. Mm. This was very bad. I have eaten brownie protein bars before and I'm usually not a fan of them, but I've definitely eaten better ones. This was not good. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this protein bar is 249 euros, which is quite a lot for a protein bar. And I have another one, crunchy protein bar, it says, and this one is 229 apparently. This one actually just looks like a granola bar. Hmm, tastes like it too. But I also don't see where the protein is in this one. To me, it's just a granola bar. It's not bad. So the best was definitely the chocolate. This is 2.79. Sis, I guess it's organic, vegan, has no cane sugar. So that's how she justifies the prices. But to me, I don't get it. So let's get back to past Naomi and let's get to the next product. So next, we're gonna try another product from Mr. Beast. What can I do? It just has a lot of food, okay? And we're gonna try the Mr. Beast burger. I think this was probably the hardest product, food product to get in this video because obviously you cannot order this in Germany and it only exists in the UK and the US and in Canada, I think. It is a burger, so you have to order it freshly, you know? You can't just order it on Etsy. <laughs> so I went to London and I ordered the Mr. Beast burger there. <laughs> Hello. It was so hard to order this for some reason because I tried to order the once then it was closed. I tried to order another time then I realized it was actually London in fucking Canada. They really fooled me but anyway now I finally made it. I have ordered two Mr. Beast burgers to try. The ones where we ordered it they didn't have vegetarian options which is really sad. I looked up the one in Canada and they had vegetarian options just not this one which is sad but I can't really you know be mad about it because it's it's just London apparently or it's just this specific venue I ordered on Deliveroo it wasn't even possible to order on their website so I'm just glad it worked now let's have a look at Vincent's fries oh, they're falling. no they're not falling they're falling oh they're falling <laughs> I think there's like some special kind of seasoning on there I don't know how to feel about this. Chicken seasoning. Paprika and also just vegetable broth. But I, I feel like the fries itself, they don't taste like anything. Buttering fries is always risky. That's true. But let's look at my burger. I'm so sorry for the light, by the way. I know it's not perfect lighting in here. We're struggling in this Airbnb. <laughs> right here we have, ooh, it's so greasy. Wow, that is a thick ass burger. You were only able to pick two things, which was double patty or triple patty. So I went for double patty. It's not bad. It's just very greasy and saucy and meaty. <laughs> they really said something meaty for the main course. Actually, it's it's good. <laughs> I love the pickle in there. <gasps> the meat is very salty and a bit crunchy on the outside. It is really good. But for my personal taste, it's still too much meat, but I could devour this. I will put this to the side for later because I want to try the other burger too. Don't worry, I'm going to eat this all. I'm just in a bit of a hurry right now. This is the chicken Nashville 10 burger something tastes weird i don't know if it's the nashville seasoning it's okay again of course edible why does nashville taste like this <laughs> i can't describe it something just tastes wrong in there almost burnt and i'm pretty sure it's the nashville seasoning I, I wouldn't know what else it would be my verdict for mr beast burger i actually really like the first one the typical beast burger it is very juicy it is um high quality what was the price again so the beast style burger costs 9.49 pounds which is i would say about 11 or 12 dollars which is a good price for a burger i mean you do have two patties but still the crinkle fries why are they called crinkle right why are they called crinkle these fries are not crinkled it's just 
normal fries. That is no crinkle. Mr. Beats, you have to work on your fries. Your burgers are good. Your Mr. Beast burger, it was very good. The chicken burger was not my personal thing, but I don't think it was a bad burger. But I do have to say it is a nice influencer burger. I've never eaten an influencer burger in my life before, and I don't even think any other YouTuber actually has a burger brand. I'm not disappointed, just in the fries. That was everything from London Naomi. Let's get back to Berlin Naomi. I would do so many things to just eat this burger right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's try our last product. And for this one, I just gathered a lot of drinks. You know when I said it is very trendy to come up with drinks as an influencer? Especially German influencers and rappers. It's just their favorite thing to come out with something to drink. Especially iced tea. Here are a couple of drinks from German artists and influencers. If you're not from Germany, you probably don't know these artists, but they are very big in Germany. So I feel like I have to try it, okay? Because I never tried anything with these products. First of all, we have Bra tea by Capital Bra. He's a German rapper. No. This is watermelon. And I do have to give a little disclaimer that I personally am not the biggest fan of iced tea. I just don't drink it. I don't like it. But I feel like I can still judge it. Like I can judge if it's gonna taste good to other people. I feel like I'm still gonna be able to do this. But let's see. It is um, orange, just like a watermelon. <laughs> What kind of melon is this supposed to be? Listen, it's not that bad, but this is 100% not melon. It just tastes like, like black tea with sugar. <laughs> it is 89% black tea. And then sugar, watermelon, juice, concentrate. This does not taste like watermelon. But it's not bad, but you should not claim that this is watermelon flavor because that's embarrassing And it also does not taste too much like sweetener because it has sugar in it and not sweetener <laughs> Next we're gonna try Dirty by Sheeran David. Why do I look so yellow next to it? Oh, this is zero. I got one zero and I got one OG one blueberry flavor and lemon flavor And I do have to give it to her that these look very appealing to my eye personally I think they're just very pretty with this thing on top. She's also a German rapper slash influencer. She started as a YouTuber and now she's a music artist. Get some ASMR. My nails that are not yeah. there. <laughs> oh, it looks like the Brati. Hmm. Water, sugar, blueberry juice, blueberry concentrate, and black tea extract. Interesting. It's like the other way around compared to the other iced tea I just tried. Yeah, this one definitely tastes a bit more like juice, while the first one tastes just like black tea. I do not mind this. Let me try the lemon one. They all look the same! That is a no for me. I mean, it's zero, so it literally just tastes like sweetener again. This is the worst drink I've tried so far. And I actually have another one of Dirty. Sparkling Juicy Mango. And I just learned when I was today years old that this has alcohol in it. Could be fun, but only if it tastes good. The top is black. That's kind of cute. It has 5% alcohol, so I think it's like beer. Isn't that like a beer percentage? I think I could get lit with it. No, I don't get lit with sparkling drinks because they make me burp, so I guess that's not for me. But it definitely tastes like mango. If somebody offered me this, I would probably just drink it. I don't mind it. Let's try the last one. I don't know why I bought two. Local Juice by Luciano. Luciano, also German rapper. You get the point. This is Kiba flavor, which you could translate to Cheba. It's cherry and banana. This is very watery. Where's the key? Where's the bar? This tastes like low effort. I'm sorry. Next, we're gonna try the exotic flavor. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. You got sipping at me and golden sunset in Venice Beach. The color's nice. Brother, that is literally water with a little bit of a soft side flavor. You put too much water in there and not enough flavor. This is the most lackluster juice that I have 
I will try. It is vegan. There's no meat in there. Yay. This was loco, but not juice. I did not deserve to drink this. What a horrible ending of this video. Guys, that was all the influencer food products I'm gonna try for today. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if I should try some more. I think the best was actually Mr. Beast Burger, but also because it was just so different. I don't know any other YouTuber slash artist who came out with a burger. And the Mr. Beast Bar was also solid. Mr. Beast is really slaying the game. All of these drinks I just had at the end, oh, there were a lot. But just to make it clear, I'm not hating on the people that come out with these products. I'm just hating on their products. <laughs> That is it for me today. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>